Hello friends, I'm retired Chief Justice Mr. Mathur has submitted report with respect to 7 pay panel commission just few days back and this article has been written by Mr. Siddhartha. I will appreciate his article and the article says from flab to fab government must grab the 7th pay panel opportunity to hire specialist and fire pointless departments. Siddhartha says that many of the government departments are overstaffed and many are simply serving tea or adjusting the temperature of the air conditioner. He is just uh, taking it on the lighter side and tries to emphasize that those departments which are overstaffed, such staff should be transferred and deputed in areas where it is really required. And he says, you need people the most in schools, hospitals, police stations and courts. He emphasizes that we need to concentrate on education, health, home ministry and the Ministry of Justice Judiciary. He adds that the uh, Seventh Pay Commission has given a wonderful opportunity in the hands of the Modi government and this can kickstart the restructuring process. As we know, Modi has always been saying minimum government and maximum governance. I'll talk about this quote of Mr. Modi later as Mr. Siddhartha had written well researched about minimum government and maximum governance later in his article. As you all know and as mentioned in the 7th Pay Commission report also, Siddhartha says that it has been found that one third of the government employees, centre government employees are due to retire over the next 10 years. So this is a wonderful opportunity opportunity in the sense we all know that government servants can never be kicked out unless or until there is a gross negligence or there are charges of corruption. <laughs> to be on the lighter side we all know that many times people are suspended but out of 100 those are suspended very few are terminated so the conviction rate among those central government employees who are suspended is very less. So uh, let us come to the main article only. He says that it's really a great time to restructure the government, the bureaucracy. The 7th Pay Commission, Mr. Mathur, as was submitted, lay more emphasis on hiring the specialist instead of the general staff. He further adds that in present era of liberalization, privatization, globalization, the size of the government really doesn't matter. It is the right composition that matters the most. So that means the core policy making people that matters the most. So as and when the vacancies are created, we should recruit the specialist in areas in ministries where it is really required. Few, few ministries he further add on to say like steel, textile, telecom, there the government now hardly interfere and the scope of the government is also less. Like in telecom, as he write further in the article, we have telecom regulatory authority of India. So we hardly need lot of government officials over there. But he further adds there that still the telecom department exists which shouldn't and the bureaucracy keeps on interfering in the regulator which they should not and this leads to duplication. I will show you later in that point in the article later. Now moving further in the article he says in the environment ministry for example and other ministries as well there are many transferring people from here to there is a very common norm in the government. Those who need to be punished are kicked out in Siachin, never suspended or terminated. So it's a punishment posting. He says that we know that government officials will, will be transferred and transferring is the norm. 
and whenever a new person comes he takes 2 years to figure out what is happening in that department what is happening on that seat so since transferring is always the norm we should create a special dedicated cadet officers like those who work in ministry of environment should only work in ministry of environment so even if they are transferred say from bombay calcutta madras or anywhere in the country the ministry remains the same the ministry remains environment ministry the person has had a hold of that department and he can work anywhere in the country with respect to environment ministry so a dedicated cadet officers those in telecom those in sorry environment been in environment those in defense remain in defense this transferring from one ministry of the, to another should be stopped so work only in one ministry the geography can change but the department the ministry will remain the same should remain the same if further i add on to say that when modi take over took over as prime minister in may 2014 there was expectations that the slogan of minimum government and maximum governance as we all know modi has been always saying minimum government maximum governance that is what he says loudly we all expected that this will translate into fewer fewer ministries less ministries at the center but over the 18 months there is an addition to the list of departments so what mr modi has been saying the reverse of it is happening he says over the 18 months more departments have come into being so this is contrary to what he has been saying this is not good now he further says that since liberalization the top of war has moved beyond ministries to include regulatory agencies while several regulators have come up in the last 24 hour, 24 years most of the government departments are still going strong so there is duplication of work there is more manpower than you need in that sector it is time to wind up such departments such as the telecom after all india is one of the few countries that still has a telecom department as I earlier said since we have telecom regulatory authority of india there is no need to have telecom ministry why there is a duplication so telecom ministry should be winded up and just reduced to to the level of minister only where he can just see how the regulator is functioning that's all he further says that the specialist for some specialized jobs must be hired now this is an era of specialization he further says that the government has already made a beginning with the banking sector where at least one private sector executive has been hired to run a public sector bank so this we have seen uh, even i read in many articles that uh, since lot of public sector banks lot of government banks have, are having lot of high nps that is non uh no that is non performing assets the non performing assets are the bad debts of the banks like kingfisher many dust list they take loans then they are not able to pay those bad loans are the nps so we have seen that many public sector banks have a lot of high nps as compared to the private sector banks so the government has hired private sector executives in the boards of the public sector banks so that the public sector banks can perform as good as the private sector banks he further add on to say that again the banking sector experiment has shown that the private sector bank doesn't always chase a fat pay packet to take a public sector job the challenge to deal with the things on a much bigger scale creates an adrenaline rush for many now i'll tell what he wants to say he wants to say i read an article on this also earlier it has been found that those 
private sector executives who have been hired for the public sector banks, government banks, are not working in at a very high package as we always anticipate. We all know in private sector banks, the CEOs are earning huge salaries as compared to government banks. So we might all think that if you hire private sector executives for government banks, they will ask for higher money. But so has not been the case. It has already been proven in the banking sector. Many private sector executives have joined public sector banks, government banks at the rates reasonably offered by the government and they have taken up the job. So the government is at an advantage. The government doesn't have to offer so high salaries to private sector executives to monitor the public sector banks. Because we all know government jobs are still in demand. Government jobs are very much in demand. Government jobs offer a lot of job security. That's the reason even private sector executives have come running for public sector banks. So the government should take advantage of such a job security that people want. Private sector people will come rushing to the government because everybody wants job security. Job security is the USP of the government banks, government jobs. He says that at the same time, government needs to respect the legitimate aspiration of all its employees in giving them an opportunity to rise to the top. It's a strange situation where a revenue service officer cannot imagine retiring as revenue secretary or an audit and account service officer doesn't become controller and auditor general. Now, this is a very pity situation even I read in various newspapers where IRS, IPS, people have complained widely in media, in the public and to the government. They never get equal opportunity as compared to IS officers. The IS lobby has become strong over the years. So 7th Pay Commission has taken care of, I've heard, and uh, they have given equal pay parity. And uh, even I as a doctor feel that really a person from the revenue department so he has rightly said I appreciate his article and uh, to tell you all this article has been taken from Times of India and uh, it has been published on November 23rd Monday Delhi edition 2015 thank you all for giving a wonderful listening let's pray that the government is restructured and we all are served better by the government of India. Thank you.